So I've prepped the other side of our compost bin in the same way we did this half. And I'm just going to now rebury all these logs and layer in with sticks and grass trimmings, just like we did with the other pile. So here we go, a little layer of grass trimmings at the bottom. And these will decompose really quick and fill in all these gaps that the logs make. But I'm going to add a little bit more sticks in this pile because this half is a little less finished than the other side. So to just speed up our Hugel compost decomposition, I'm just adding really old nasty sticks. These have already broken down quite a bit. I just have a big pile of scrap and these were from the bottom where they've really already broken down quite a bit. So this is going to help our Hugel compost add a little bit more carbon. And some more grass and leaves. Just getting that balance right. Doing about equal parts grass and sticks to our half-finished compost, which is already riddled with grass and leaves. It's a pretty decent balance, but we're just amping up the carbon. We really want more carbon so that we can continue to add our food scraps. But now we've got a nice uniform pile here with plenty of great Hugel culture wood down below. And it's already spongy. It's already got leaf mold all over it. You want to use the oldest wood you have. Just anything punky and, and covered in fungus. And any kind of undesirable wood that's, as long as it's not treated or painted in any way, it's good to go. So a couple more scoops of compost. And then some more leaves. And a lot of our leaves do end up on the pile, but I like to save, especially just the leaves from our trees, to insulate our winter pots. Over winter, if you get a really hard freeze here in Minnesota, even hardy perennials can have a tough time coming back. So I always insulate my beds and all my containers with a healthy layer of leaves. And if you shred them up, they can really fill in those nooks and crannies in your garden. And they provide excellent insulation. Things like thyme, which are a Mediterranean herb, can actually survive a hard frost in a really cold winter, as long as you insulate them properly. Even things like rosemary can survive, but here in Minnesota, I haven't had great luck with our rosemary surviving. But this is it here. Last few scoops. All right, so that's our improved Hugel compost. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.